Good evening, team. I'm Drew McDermott, Director of Sales for Neela South Africa, and it is really good to have you with me on tonight's webinar. Tonight is all about learning, improving your skills, and developing yourself personally. And this is a really important process in your journey to success in your life. So I just want to congratulate you for being committed to this process. Something that I love most about the New Life Opportunity is that if you have a dream, no matter how big or small it may be, you can turn that dream into reality by practically imp implementing the three daily success habits into your life. And these success habits are using the product, sharing the product and the opportunity, and personal development. And this evening, I want to focus on success habit number two, sharing near life or sharing your product and your opportunity. Because in near life, you will get paid to share your product and opportunity. And if you analyze any successful near life distributor, you will see that they have mastered this activity. But here's the interesting part. These successful distributors were not always good at sharing near life. In fact, I had to share near life over 10 times before I got somebody to say yes. And I mention that because too often I see a person share near life three, four, maybe five times. And if they don't get the desired result, they, they stop. They stop sharing. And they convince themselves that it's something they cannot do. I believe becoming great at sharing near life starts with a decision. A decision to, that you are going to constantly improve your skills until you become a master at this activity. So, so I'm going to share three steps with you that really simplified and helped me through this sharing near life process. And number one, step one, is connect with people, build rapport, and discover their needs. And being able to connect with a person and identify their needs is a core skill that we are all able to develop. The goal is to add value and to educate, not to sponsor or sell. And this is a big mistake I often see people making. That they're too focused on telling people how great our product is or our opportunity is, and um, they fail to connect and establish a need. And people you meet will be able to pick this up a mile away and they will run. A story my sponsor shared with me um, early in the business, he said that you can take bird seed and chase after the pigeons, throwing the seed at them, and all you are going to achieve is chasing the pigeons away. Or you can sprinkle the seed on the ground, hold it out in your hand, and build that trust, and eventually the pigeons will come and eat the, the seed out of your hand. And prospecting is very similar. The goal is to educate, discover needs, and to add value. In fact, very seldom will I talk to anybody about my business or my product until I have established a need that I can provide a solution to. Up until that, until that point, all I'm focused on doing is making a friend and building a relationship. So how do you discover what people need and what they want? You ask them questions. And you've probably heard the term, we have one mouth and two ears, and we should be using them in that ratio. Get good at asking great questions and then listen closely to the answer. Don't try to be interesting, but rather try to be interested. And there are three areas you can safely talk about and ask questions on when meeting somebody new. And those areas are family, their occupation, and their recreation. You think of the uh, acronym FOR, F-O-R, Family, Occupation, Recreation. The majority of people actually really enjoy talking about themselves. And what they enjoy even more is talking about their problems and about their needs. The study conducted in the UK showed that people talk about themselves, or the more people talk about themselves, the more interesting they find the conversation. And the more they talk, they talk the more they, they trust the person that they're talking to. So once you have introduced yourself, built rapport, start asking intelligent questions about their family, about their occupation, and about the things that they like to do for fun and in their free time, their recreation. So step number two, inviting. This is where you invite somebody to take a look at a solution to a need that they have just communicated to you. This need could be anything from wanting more energy to losing weight to addressing a specific health challenge to making an, an extra part-time income or complete financial freedom. There's a million different needs that people have. And this is where I believe the Charged Up on Good Nutrition video is going to make a massive difference in your business and in your results. In four minutes, it will communicate the near life mission, it highlights our superior nutrition solution, and it invites people to take a closer look at the near life opportunity. 
and they can do this from the comfort of their own home from their smartphone in less than four minutes. It's important to note that events that are run by your team leaders and by the company are still highly important. If you currently do one-on-one -on -one meetings, these are still critically important to your business. However, I believe this four-minute video will be an addition and a great first introduction for new people. We live in a time where technology pay, plays a big role in people's lives. And if you can give them all the key information on their cell phone at four minutes, they'll be more receptive to attending a nutrition talk or an opportunity meeting or sitting down over a cup of coffee to continue the conversation. Step three, following up. The stats are telling us that people will need to take a look at your product or your opportunity multiple times before making a decision to purchase or to join the Near Life community. This means that your follow-up game needs to be super, super strong. And once somebody has taken a look at a four-minute video, you need to follow up with them and invite them to the next exposure depending on their need and where their interest lies. And when following up with somebody after they've watched the, the video, ask a great question. And I believe a great question is, so what did you like most? If you ask somebody what do they think, naturally they'll tell you what they didn't like. But when you ask what did you like most, their mind will focus on the positives. And once you've asked the question, listen very closely to the answer. Based on the answer, you'll be able to take them to the next step. That could be sitting down for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, inviting them to your local opportunity meeting or nutrition seminar, or inviting them to join you on the next Near Life webinar. But remember, when you are following up, you're doing it with the same intention, to educate and to add value. So let me just package this up real quick in a, in a real-life example. Um, recently, I caught a flight from East London to PE. Um, it's on a tiny aircraft that sees about 15 to 20 people. And as I was boarding the airplane, I noticed the air hostess was greeting everybody by their first name, which I thought was interesting. And on the flight, I got chatting to her. And um, you know, I spoke about her occupation, about uh, you know, I was really interested to know how she knew everybody's name. And she said she flies the route five days a week, twice a day in the morning and the afternoon. Uh, and they're like a family. She really enjoys her job. Um, then we, we moved on to her family and turns out she, she's married to an engineer. She has two young kids. And I said, wow, you know, flying twice a day, Monday to Friday, um, it must be really tough to manage your home life and look after two young kids. And she said, actually, as much as I love flying, I'm looking to do something else because I need more flexibility in my life. And boom, there she exposed the need to me. And I didn't jump on her at that point and say, I've got an opportunity for you. I just made a note, mental note of that need. And on leaving the airplane, I said to Lauren, you mentioned that you were looking for something else in the PE area with more flexibility. I have something which may be of value. Let's swap contact details. And at that point, we swapped phone numbers. I called her the next day. And this is what I said to her. I said, Lauren, yeah, it's Drew speaking. We met yesterday on the airplane. You mentioned that you were looking for something with a little bit more flexibility in the, pre, the Port Elizabeth area. I have something which may be of value to you. If I sent you a four-minute video that would give you more information on what I do and what I'm looking for, would you be able to watch it? And she said, absolutely. So I said, okay, I'll send that video link to you right now. It's four minutes. When will you be able to watch it? And she said, I'm sitting at the airport. I've got time on my hands. I'll, I'll watch it right away. So I said, great, I'll send it to you now. I'll give you 15 minutes. I'll follow, I'll follow up with you in about 15 minutes. And she agreed to that. I called her back and I said, so Lauren, what did you like most? And she said to me, said to me well, Drew, I was really fascinated about the nutrition. Nutrition is, a, is an interest of mine. And the near life mission of ending the trend is such a valid thing to be doing. And she indicated that she was going to be product orientated. And... So the next thing I did is I invited her to find out a little bit more and I invite her, invited her to Liz's Core Nutrition webinar last week, which she attended. And she got more information and she, her excitement is growing and I will be meeting her and her husband for one-on-one -on -one meeting when I am next in, in Port Elizabeth. And so that is how the four-minute the four video sowed the seed of near life into her life in a very positive way. So just a couple of tips um, when you are sharing your life. Your goal is to educate and add value. Always assume the person will want to get involved. Go in with the right mental attitude. Ask great questions. Always be prepared for the next step. 
and learn from every experience. A success in your life isn't about what you do occasionally. Success is about what you do consistently. In the beginning, you're not going to be perfect. You will make mistakes and you need to be okay with that. The learning is in the doing. You have to put your knowledge into action to turn that knowledge into a skill. And when you master the skill of sharing your life, that is when you will see exponential and explosive growth in your business. So I want to thank you for your, your time tonight. Please share this information with your team. Uh, together, we're going to end the trend of chronic disease. And together, we're going to make the world a healthier and happier place. And I look forward to catching up with you all real soon. Good night.